Hi, this is Andrea with The Five Course Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes of all time. This is a family recipe. I'm so happy to share it with you. It's for stuffed artichokes. Uh, if you're an artichoke lover, I think this is gonna be just like over the top for you, wonderful. So stick with me and I will show you step by step how to make this recipe. It's such a fun dish to make as well as to eat because as you take the leaves off to eat them, it, it reveals these little pockets of tasty stuffing. So the first thing you want to do is, is take your artichoke and trim it up. I trim the stem down and I save this piece and I put it in the water that it's cooked in. Cut off the tops like this. Trim around the, the pointy leaves. And the next thing you want to do is, is open these up. They're going to be stuffed. Uh, trim up the stems a little bit off some Italian parsley. So this is the flat leaf parsley. Okay, so let's just roughly chop this. Okay. Great, now we're gonna go ahead and add the olives. These are black Kalamata olives. You can use any kind of really black olive that you want. Here are our breadcrumbs. These are just organic, simple, plain breadcrumbs. So let's see how this looks here. So here's our parsley and olives. So you wanna mix this up. And it's going to be quite dry, and it'll get more cooked and moist as we steam it in the, there. So this is a little bit of salt. That's how it should look. Okay. We want to add a little fresh ground pepper here. And lastly, to our breadcrumb stuffing, we're going to put some uh, aged Italian cheese. This is a Pecorino Romano. Oops. It's really crumbly. We're going to finely grate this. Add it to our stuffing. Okay, now this is the interesting part of the actual stuffing uh, of the artichoke. So you have this sort of dry stuffing like this, fairly dry. There's a little bit of moisture from the parsley and olives. So you take your artichokes and kind of stretch it open. So literally put it into here, like so. All right, so after we're done stuffing the artichokes, we're going to put them in, in a heavy duty saucepan. This is a big one. And as you see, I put the stems, I trim the ends off and I put them in here because it all adds a, ni a nice flavor to the, to the water. Okay, so we have our beautiful stuffed artichokes in here. We're gonna put a little bit of fresh garlic on top. Okay, let's drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil on top of each one. Like so, just a little bit. This will help add a little moisture to them. Okay, so we have the artichokes in the pot ready to cook. Oh, you have to put about uh, maybe one or two inches of water on the bottom. So close the lid. You want to cook them for about 25 to 35 minutes. But about five minutes before they're done, um, you want to add some peas to the pot. Now it's time to pour a glass of wine and relax and drink your wine, okay? That's what I'm going to do. Artichokes have been cooking now. Um, they're beautifully, they're steamed and the, the stuffing is looking cooked and they have about five more minutes to go. So what you want to do is add your peas right on top, like so. Close the lid and give it another five more minutes to cook. Okay, so our peas have been cooking now and I'll usually just taste them to make sure they're done. Oh, perfect. These are big artichokes. <laughs> this will definitely be a meal. So we're gonna scoop some of the peas. So here we have our stuffed artichoke. So you serve it with some of the peas on the side, maybe a little bit of French or Italian bread. And as you eat the artichoke, you'll you know get bites of the stuffing. And it, I'm not gonna eat it right now, but <laughs> actually I should. Uh, anyways, it's it's so delicious and it smells wonderful. There's something about this combination of olives, parsley, and peas, and and garlic, and that just smell and taste amazing. So try it. I think you'll love it. Enjoy yourself. Buon appetito. Hi, this is Andrea. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Augie. He's my cooking companion. Um, we're going to make for you today this amazing artichoke recipe. And um, I promise I will wash my hands before we start. So let's go.